Hey everybody, I'm Michael, and this is a video walkthrough for Lost Lands The Wanderer. Okay, that was not me. I do not scream like that. Okay, I guess I can scream like that, but normally I don't. This is game number four in the Lost Lands series. We start with some sort of captain, I think? Maybe a pirate captain from the Lost Lands? He has come to Earth to find Susan. And he's got a magical spinny compass. I found her. So I guess Susan lives in New York City. I think that's where this is supposed to be. She's just out for a morning jog? Not expecting to run into adventure. Do I want to play with the tutorial? No, I just want to get started with the game. What is this chest doing in the middle of my living room? Hey, anybody home? So strange. Maybe it's a joke. A joke? It's a magical glowing chest, Susan! Let's check it out. If you're truly the one who has visited the Lost Lands so many times before, then I know you kept the anti-magic gloves from the previous game! If you do have them, you can unlock this enchanted chest. Well, I did bring back some anti-magic gloves from my last trip. They're in the safe now, but who wrote this note? How did he find me? And how does he know that I have the gloves? I don't know, maybe he, he's a person who played the last video game. I don't know. So we grab the ballpoint pen from the sofa and we use it on this picture. Ah, look, it's Jimmy. He's all grown up and graduating. Isn't that sweet? Oh, Susan must be so proud of her son. Oh my goodness, that is a super long password. How does Susan remember it all? I oh, don't know, let's, let's check her cell phone. Ah, dead battery. Now where is the charger? Ah, by the TV. And here's a, a notebook entry. Several years passed since the previous game in the series. My life's returned to normal. I'm starting to miss that magical land. The only thing I have left over from that trip are these anti-magic gloves. And they're hidden in my closet. So we put the cell phone down, we plug in the cell phone, and sure enough, Susan got a text message from Michael. I assume Michael is her husband. Hi, sweetie, I had a great flight. Japan welcomed me with a warm sunrise. I forgot to tell you that I changed the code to the safe Put this down in your notebook, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. So, now we can open the safe. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Press this symbol to open the safe. There we go, we keep the anti-magic gloves right next to the huge pile of money. Feel their power working already. Let's open this chest. You don't know me, but I've heard a lot about you. I come from the Lost Lands into your world, and I need to meet with you. 
It's urgent, and it concerns all of us. As a token of my trust, I'm sending you something familiar. The Compass of the Worlds. I hope you still remember this artifact. Use it, and it will bring you to me. Finier Steelburn, Captain of the Grey Flounder. Hmm, so somehow this artifact will lead to him. I wonder how it works. Let's well, pointing outside. Okay, let's grab all these important things and let's go. That must be the ship that the captain is on. How do I reach it? Ah! Oh no. I guess being kidnapped by a giant octopus monster is one way of getting on board. What was that? What is happening in here? Well... Just calm down. I need to find someone. The captain is right here, inside. Just knock on the door and it will open. Hello, Susan. My name's Finger Stolburn. And even though I'm the captain, not me, not this boat, and definitely not the octopus are real. My what? body is in deep magical slumber in the Lost Lands, while my mind is doomed to wander between the worlds. My travels are random, chaotic, and produce horrific natural disasters everywhere I go. Someday, I just might cause the destruction of every world I've been to, including yours. Which is why I need your help. Set the compass of the worlds to the Lost Lands. Go there, find my body, and wake me up from my eternal slumber. There's no time to waste. I might jump again any moment now. Please, hurry! Interesting. So, this guy just has some sort of magic body that jumps through worlds and causes disaster? Yeah, yeah, that's the story, so we need to wake him up before he destroys everything. Susan, no! There's no time to explore my ship now! Don't you get it? It could disappear any minute! Please, hurry up and tune the compass to the Lost Lands! No, I want to explore, Captain! Alright, so the Captain says we need to solve this puzzle. It's a really tough puzzle. I don't know why they decided to start the game with this puzzle. <laughs> um, Alrighty, so we've got like the letter R here. The letter R is located in this spot. So in order to get that, we have to swap this with that so i'm just gonna throw the a over here and throw the r over here i'm gonna swap them so the a goes where the r was and now the r goes where the a was and we've got r perfectly fine all right so next uh this sort of looks like the letter p and it's here so we need to swap these two so first i'm gonna throw this one here then I'm gonna, gonna drop the P there, and I'm going to swap them. So, P goes in the one spot, that goes in the other spot, and now we should have the R and the P. Perfect. So next we need this symbol. I think it's this one, so we're gonna have to swap these two. Alright, so, same sort of thing. This is the one we're swapping. This is the one we want in the place. Now we're gonna swap their locations. So I'm gonna do this and this. And there we go, all those three are fantastic. This one also looks like the letter P. Oh, it's right here. So these two need to be swapped. So I'm gonna drop this here and this there, then swap them. Swap, swap. There we go, I've got four things already. This looks like a scribble, and that's the one it needs to be swapped with. So, that there, and the scribble, right? So, we're gonna swap them. 
now I have five things into place. Let's do this. This symbol and this one. Okay. So it's going to be here and here. We're going to swap them. Moi and moi. Now I've got the entire bottom all figured out. Next, let's get this. Oh, looks like it swaps just one away. Well, that is convenient for me, right? Should make it easy. Fantastic. So now I've got the entire bottom theme figured out. Let's see. Next, I want to swap. Uh, let's get this one over here, shall we? So it looks like this. And then this. And we're going to swap them. So swap and swap. All those are figured out. Next, it looks like... Uh, this one can go here, right? So let's swap these two. This is a pretty long puzzle. Sorry for taking a while, but it it's kind of a hard puzzle. You need to swap pretty much every single thing multiple times. So let's swap this one and this one. Those two match. So here... And here, we put them in each other's spots. And there we go. Finally, we need to swap these two. Those are the last two on the list. So we're going to swap them both. And we just spin it around. Done. Definitely a super Throw hard the puzzle. Throw into the water! I feel like we're still on the tutorial section of the game. Like, if I had done the tutorial, which I chose not to, I'd still be getting pop-up tutorial messages. It's definitely a tough puzzle to finish the tutorial Susan, with. Susan, try to find my wife, would you? She should be... Nope, no time, Captain! You're jumping! He's somehow jumping to another world? Luckily, I've already made a portal to the Lost Lands. So I transport myself there safely in this awesome hammock. <gasps>